Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we are going to do a detailed comparison of two mid-range phones, the Moto G 3rd generation with the Lenovo K3 Note. So these two phones are recently uh, launched devices and they are really popular in this segment. So uh, before we go into the detailed aspects of these two smartphones, let's quickly have a uh, look at the specs of these devices. So first up uh, we have the Moto G 2015 or the 3rd generation which features a 5 inch HD display. It's powered by the Snapdragon 410 quad core chipset with 2GB RAM, 16GB internal storage and .5.1.1 lollipop and it also has a 13MP rear camera with dual LED flash and a front facing 5MP camera along with 2470mAh battery. Now moving on to the K3 Note, this uh, runs uh, on Android 5.0 with a custom Vive UI. This has a 5.5 inch Full HD display. It's powered by an Octa-Core MediaTek chipset with a 2GB RAM and 16GB internal storage. This is a 64-bit processor just like uh, the Moto G3. And uh, this has again a 30MP rear camera with a dual LED flash and a 5MP front facing camera along with a 2900mAh battery. So let's get started uh, with a detailed comparison. First up, uh, let's see the design and build quality. So design with both these devices have a totally different design. Uh, while the Motorola Moto uh, G3 has a curved rear panel with a matte finish, um, uh, the Lenovo K3 Note has a flat finish and it's also a matte finish but it's a soft kind of finish. And uh, both these devices have different form factor. It's one is a 5 inch device, the other one is a 5.5 inch device. We can see even the rear panel is uh, totally different in terms of design. We can see the Motorola uh, G3 has a uh, totally different design in terms of the camera module, the flash and uh, the logo. While uh, on the Lenovo K3 Note, it's a traditional uh, uh, unit uh, where we have the camera on the top uh, uh, portion and the Lenovo branding. Now again, if you see uh, the thickness of the device, uh, the Lenovo K3 Note is uh, a lot uh, slimmer and also lighter in weight even though it's a 5.5 inch device. The Moto G is uh, pretty heavy in this uh, uh, category uh, but it does have a sturdy build quality. Uh, the K3 Note also has a uh, pretty good uh, quality but overall uh, the fit and finish and uh, the material plastic quality is slightly better on the Moto G3 uh, which has a textured finish. So that's the design and build quality. So design wise we would say uh, the K3 Note uh, is slightly superior because of its lightweight nature as well as uh, it's pretty slim. But in the build quality we would say the Moto G3 is uh, slightly superior than the Lenovo K3 Note. Now moving on to the display. So here we have a uh, completely different uh, spec. Uh, the Moto G3 has a uh, 5 inch HD display. It's an IPS panel. This is the same display which we saw on the previous generation Moto G2 as well. The display is not really vibrant and it's also not really sharp. Um, uh, but it does have pretty good uh, um, uh, viewing angles and also the touch of spawn seems uh, pretty okay. It's it's on a warmer side. The display is on a warmer side, so not uh, really colorful or vivid. Uh, and it's also an HD panel. Now talking about the display on the Moto, I mean the Lenovo K3 Note. You can see this is a full HD panel and the, the display is pretty vibrant and uh, it's colorful and even the viewing angles are also pretty good and the touch response is also pretty good. So uh, in the display aspect, we would say uh, the Lenovo K3 Note with a full HD panel uh, is a clear winner here uh, and the Moto G3 uh, display uh, is in that vibrant when compared to the Lenovo K3 Note. So in the display aspect, the clear winner is the Lenovo K3 Note. Now let's move to the software and performance side. So software wise, both these devices run Android uh, Lollipop, although the K3 Note is not running the latest version of Android uh, Lollipop, it does have Lollipop and it is a custom UI. Now talking about the interface of uh, the Moto G, it's a stock Android like experience, very minimal uh, apps uh, and uh, bloatware is included even the notification center is also stock experience so all in all uh, this is like using a nexus kind of device with a uh, stock android features the performance side this runs on snapdragon 410 quad core chipset with uh, 2 gigabyte ram and the performance is pretty good there is no lag or issues the gaming experience also was pretty good it's a 5 inch display so not uh, really um, best for gaming but still uh, it's um, uh, it's good for gaming with 2 gigabyte ram and most of the games are uh, played well the overall performance of the device was lag free and uh, it did have a uh, good performance this runs uh, uh, the latest version and you are assured to get uh, the future up upgrades as well and it has uh, full GLT support with dual cards dual sim cards so again that is again pretty good now talking about um, uh, the Lenovo K3 Note uh, this runs Android 5.0 and uh, this has a custom uh, Vive UI so this is a customized notification center it does look good but it's not really polished uh, UI and uh, it, it's not really polished in terms of uh, uh, the experience and you can see uh, 
uh, it does have good performance but uh, it, the performance on the K3 Note is not really uh, up to the mark of what is uh, offered on uh, uh, the Moto G3 with uh, the, the stock Android like experience so performance wise we would say uh, the Moto G3 is slightly better and superior and even in the gaming experience when we tested the gaming performance of the K3 Note we could see some lag here and there a lot of games uh, were crashing and uh, it's not really uh, a gamer friendly device even though it has a 5.5 inch full HD display so Lenovo has uh, done some work and optimized the software a bit after releasing the software I mean uh, the upgrade um, but then still uh, not really the best in terms of the gaming experience and uh, but it does not have any heating issue uh, but the gaming experience was not that best now this phone also comes with a 4 GLT support on the dual sim cards and um, this uh, has android 5.0 lollipop now both these devices have a 16 gigabyte internal storage and they are expandable on uh, lenovo k3 node you can uh, install apps on the sd card while that is not possible on the moto g3 so that was the software and performance side so both these devices uh, uh, are totally different in terms of performance because one is stock android experience one is a customized ui and the performance side we would say the moto g3 is better than the lenovo k3 node now moving on to the camera so let's open the camera interface both these devices uh, have uh, uh, a 13 megapixel rear camera and a front facing uh, uh, 5 megapixel camera uh, this has a dual tone led flash while the k3 note has a dual led flash now the interface wise the lenovo offers uh, slightly better features uh, it has uh, uh, some effects also included apart from that uh, all other, almost all other features are included on the Moto G3 as well so uh, both uh, both devices uh, offer a decent amount of features uh, and the interface uh, looks uh, pretty simple on the Moto G3 uh, there is no touch to focus on the G3 but you can move this uh, uh, a, uh, the focusing area to uh, different objects to focus them interface wise we can see both these devices are pretty decent interface now talking about the photo quality uh, Lenovo's K3 Note uh, was not uh, really a best camera in this price point when we reviewed it we found that the camera was not a really great performing camera in the uh, in this price point and even after the software releases uh, this camera doesn't uh, uh, really impress in terms of overall photo quality and we can say that the Moto uh, G3 generation with a major upgrade to camera does uh, have great uh, quality uh, in terms of the overall clarity sharpness uh, contrast and saturation level so or in all uh, we would say the Moto G3 uh, does have superior imaging capabilities than the Lenovo's K3 Note so both these devices can record videos in full HD and uh, the video performance is also better on the Moto G3 now talking about the front facing camera again both these devices have 5 megapixel front camera and here again the uh, Moto G3 generation uh, has a better uh, selfie camera now talking about the battery uh, performance uh, uh, both these devices have different capacities. The Moto G3 has a 2470 mAh battery, while uh, the Lenovo K3 Note has a 2900 mAh capacity. Now, uh, while the capacity on uh, the K3 Note is higher, it also has to power a full HD 5.5 inch display. So, the, the battery consumption is uh, slightly more than what we saw, what we see on the Moto G3. But having said that, you can get a one day of usage on both these devices, and uh, even though the capacity is higher on the K3 Note, Moto G3 also does a pretty good job with the battery performance. So, we have talked about uh, almost all aspects of uh, these two devices. So now which is better device to buy here now there is a big difference in pricing almost 3k difference uh, between these two phones in terms of the pricing uh, the g3 is 13k while uh, uh, the lenovo k3 note is just 10k so if you're looking for a budget um, friendly device then uh, obviously the choice is uh, lenovo k3 note which has a full hd display and uh, pretty good in terms of the overall design and uh, it's pretty compact as well it's a bigger display and uh, it also has a custom ui but if you're looking for stock Android experience with a better camera and a better build quality, then uh, the Moto G3 is the winner here. Uh, apart from that, Moto G3 also has a, a IPX7 certification. That means uh, it's water resistant for almost 1 meter and 30 minutes. So that's an added feature for Moto G3. So all in all, uh, we, we can't really pick a winner here because it's based on your user preference. But uh, if you love uh, more, if you want more performance and gaming experience, uh, we would say uh, the G3 is better than the K3 Note. Uh, but then again, if you're looking for a, a device in the budget segment or less than 10K, uh, the K3 Note is the ideal choice. So that was a detailed comparison of the Moto G3 with the Lenovo K3 Note. So hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.